One of you guys DM'd me on Instagram with a Watch Mojo list that slipped under my radar. And if you know the series on my channel, you know Watch Mojo has been through its ups and downs, but putting out seemingly high caliber videos that I don't really need to react to anymore, to put it frankly, and well, the tides have shifted once again, my friends. And let me just say, I perused this list quickly just to see if it was worth my time. As I mentioned, Watch Mojo has been putting out high quality lists, so I don't really need to react to high quality lists. We can all agree that these are high quality, no. On this list contained songs that I disagree are the hardest acoustic guitar songs to play. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hardest acoustic guitar songs. Okay. For this list, we'll be looking at the most intricate, speedy, and or confusing instances of acoustic guitar in non-classical music. Did okay. we forget about another unplugged masterpiece? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, I'll let you know in a video above. Number 10, Fire and Rain, James Taylor. So right out of the gate, I like James Taylor being on this list. I think he's a good fit for blending pop and intricate guitar style. Fire and Rain is maybe not his most difficult, but it's his most notable, I would say, just like identifiable sound. I definitely think this is a good pick. It's not necessarily difficult in the harmony as much as it is about the intricate rhythm. So when Watch Mojo said they're looking for intricacies, this is certainly on brand with that idea but let's move forward. Number nine, Blackbird, The Beatles. Years after yesterday, Paul McCartney delivered another acoustic performance for The Beatles. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. One of the first videos I ever made was overplayed guitar store songs and Blackbird is in there because everyone learns Blackbird. Whether or not they learn it correctly, everyone learns it. And I wouldn't honestly say once you get the Travis picking down, it's that difficult. It, actually becomes very simple to lock in and play. The movements of your fingers are always kind of sticking in the same spot. Uh, and once you get these little patterns, these kind of backwards puzzle pieces, I like to say. And then the Travis picking. Custom thing. It is certainly the most beautiful acoustic song, potentially. Let's move on. Number eight, Operator, That's Not The Way It Feels, Jim Croce. If you've never heard this song, this song is so good. This is like the James Taylor aesthetic, but honestly a lot more complex. The song in particular, there is a ton going on just as far as how quickly the chords are changing and his melody, I mean, it really is like a James Taylor, you could bump James Taylor off this list for somebody else, honestly, if we're going just one vertical, one genre singer-songwriter, this is, in that era, the best. It's so good, you gotta listen to this song. The copyright won't let me play it, but uh, on this list for sure. Number seven, Crazy On You, Heart. Crazy On You represents one of Hart's strongest performances as a band. It mm. also allows for some killer acoustic guitar work. Yeah, the intro to this, I think, is what they're talking about. Because, isn't the song just like... But the intro, yeah, what is it? Uh... 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 uh. We need to n ask Nancy. It was written with a thumb pick, but it eventually ended up with a flat pick. Okay. But um, I'll start it out for you. It's an A minor. I'm a half step down, by the way. Starts out with a little slide up and a pull off thing. That is a hard move right there. There's another kind of a tricky, tricky Joe Bob there. <laughs> it is a tricky Joe Bob. You're on the second string, pulling off to your first finger on the first fret, and then off. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
This is tough when you gotta keep your fingers arched, like nice and bridged, because even just a little bit is gonna kill that note. And then when you pull it off, your fingers have a tendency to fall down. Look at, I, how is she, look at her little finger. Is this a case where small hands are more conducive to the riff? Because look at my big stupid paws. Like, I have pretty good dexterity, but... She's almost like pulling it, like sliding it. I can't... But get out of the way, ring finger! Yeah, man, I don't know how she keeps her... I mean, it obviously sounds a little bit cooler when it's ringing. I don't know. I can't do it. It, it does belong on this list. Number six, Wholehearted. Extr Definitely, I was gonna put this one on. Certainly. Moving along, Nuno, great job. Number five, Over the Hills and Far Away. L no, this isn't the hardest Led Zeppelin acoustic song. If we're just gonna, we, we need to reserve a spot on this list for Led Zeppelin just for posterity and iconicness. But uh, is it Over the Hills and Far Away? I would say maybe like Going to California. One of the different tuning songs potentially. This whole song isn't even an acoustic song. Like it comes in with some hard rock guitar. You know what it comes in with that heavy. So I don't know if I would call this the hardest acoustic Led Zeppelin song, let alone a hardest acoustic song. Honestly, going to California. That's my pick. Number four, roundabout. Yes. Wait, yes. I'm talking about for yes. Yes. Not a song that I would think of as like an acoustic song, you know, but um, certainly the intro is iconic. And I think that might be a parameter on Watch Mojo's list that they didn't tell us about. Number three, Minor Swing, Django Reinhardt. Okay, I wouldn't have picked Minor Swing, but yes, Django Reinhardt absolutely needs to be on here. If you don't know who he is, he's a guitar player who only played with two fingers because his pinky and ring finger got mangled in a fire. Minor Swing is actually a song that I remember learning when I was at college. Uh, I think I can remember. Let me just see how which version they have. Talented musician Django Reinhardt helped create a new musical style that veered away from traditional jazz. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's it. That's an awesome song. I don't know if it's even the 50th hardest Django song. I'm also imagine playing that with two fingers. Let me see how far I can get with two fingers before I mess up. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Uh, I can't do it at all. Okay. Uh, any Django Re this should be all Django Reinhardt songs, this list. Let's move on. Number two, Never Going Back Again, Fleetwood Mac. Lindsey Buckingham's contributions to music have been hugely yeah. impactful, to say the least. She wrote down, let me in. 
I would say this definitely belongs. Number two, no, no. And here's the thing, it's not that this list has bad songs on it, like some Watch Mojo lists have just included songs that I genuinely disagree should be on a list. All these maybe have a case, but there are just so many that are left off, as we'll get to. Like, this is already the second to last one. Let's move on, uh, see what number one is. I actually haven't seen this one yet, but it, it should be, um, I don't even know what they're gonna put. Number one, Spanish Fly, Van Halen. Okay, this, that's a cool one. I mean, not necessarily one for the popular folks, but one for the guitar nerds, I think uh, for sure. Kind of redeemed themselves there at the end, but are we not gonna talk about the fact that Neon or any John Mayer song isn't on here? Or what about Andy McKee or Tommy Emmanuel? Or what about my buddy Mike Dawes, who I just saw is on tour now? What about, hey, Jack Butler Trio, The Ocean, remember that song? I mean, dang, there's just so many ones that I could have put on this list and I understand the iconic nature of it, but to me, an acoustic guitar song, the hardest song to play uh, is going to be one that I can't even fathom or comprehend or get through, uh, just like that Django Reinhardt song. And I mean, if we're gonna open it up to having an iconic intro that then goes into like a more rock and roll song, what about a Metallica song? There are so many iconic acoustic guitar intros. I just don't understand. Uh, Mach Mojo, you continue to surprise me. What do you guys think? Leave a comment, what is the hardest acoustic guitar song to play? And was it on this list? Did I mention it? Or do you know what it is? Leave a comment, let me know. And until next time, keep shredding.